Hello and welcome to my home studio. It's been a minute since I last saw you guys, and I apologize for the delay, but I promise it has been worth it. As you can see around me here, this is my new renovated studio that I have here in my new house. And I wanna go ahead and take a moment and share with you guys what the end product finally looks like. So before we do that though, let's go ahead and roll that intro. Okay, welcome again to my home studio. I'm so excited to show you guys the new equipment, plus also the renovations that we've done. But I think this is actually a great moment to show you what the room used to look like. As you can see here in the photo, this room used to be completely different. This actually used to be kind of like a hybrid office slash exercise room area. Um, this photo is actually from the listing when this house went on the market. This is actually my wife and I's first home. Prior to this, we were in the military, so we were living in various different apartments before then. So it's very exciting to have our first home and also not to have to worry about any neighbors that your unit might be connected to since we have our own house. Now, again, back to the photo here, you can see this looks completely different from what the studio looks like now. But I wanna go ahead and start to look one of the biggest changes that we made, starting with this acoustic panel behind me. So let's go ahead and look at that first. So as soon as you walk into the studio, the first thing you're introduced to is this big, black acoustic panel. I mean, dear God, what the hell did you think I was gonna say? Anyways, the panel itself is four feet tall by six feet wide. It's using two inch mineral wool, and then we wrapped it in black cloth. And you know what, to be honest, we could have stopped there because it does a great job on reducing the reflections. However, I wanted to go ahead and do something that was a little bit different. I wanted to do something that would make it stand out. So what did I do? Well, I went to amazon.com and I found these RGB lights that are fiber optic as well. It was such a pain to install these because we had to thread 150 individual cables through the mineral wool and then hot glue it to the panel itself. It was such a pain, but you know what? I gotta say, it looks great. Again, they're RGB controllable, so we can go ahead and pick one specific color we want it to be on, but I really like this flash mode where it actually cycles through a bunch of different colors. Again, really happy with the way this looks, and it doesn't just serve a function. In a way, it's its own piece of art in my room, and I love it. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and move on to the next part of the video where we're gonna look at the other panels that I have on the walls. So for the side panels, I actually went through a local company called Sonic Shield. Paul, the general manager, was super nice. He actually gave me a tour of the entire facility. Not only do they have mineral wool and Owens Corn 703, they do make finish panels as well, and also diffusers. While walking around, I did see these finish panels and they looked great, very clean and very sleek. When he saw that I was interested in them, he actually was kind enough to give me a great deal on them. So Paul, thank you again so much. I deeply appreciate it. And here they are today living in my studio. I went ahead and just added some LED lights to them to add a little bit of flair. And again, they're helping me out when I'm in my listening position. Now that we went ahead and covered the panels, let's go ahead and look at the next part of the studio, which is my DIY vocal booth. I think you guys are gonna like that a lot. As it comes to no surprise, when it comes to recording vocals, we need to make sure that we have a well-treated area. And though, yes, again, I do have some of this acoustic treatment that you do see here on the walls, I wanted something that I could go ahead and bring with me on mobile gigs, but also have live with me here in the studio. Come into play, my DIY vocal booth. Now, as you can see here, there's actually quite a bit of things that are going on with this thing. And to be honest, I think it looks great. We got LED lights, we have some additional features for the singer, such as a phone slash tablet holder, a cup holder, and even a place to go ahead and set your headphones as well. We do have the mineral wool treatment that's going on as well to make sure that we're reducing the most amount of reflections possible, again, leading us to have the best possible vocal sound while we're recording into our DAW. I really like this thing. I think you guys will like it a lot. I also do have an upcoming video where I go into more detail about this. So if you're interested, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and the like button, and I'll catch you there on that next video. But now let's go ahead and move on to my desk. Let's see what I got going on over there. So though there seems to be an overwhelming amount of equipment on my desk, I wanna start with what I consider to be the heart of it all, my interface. I am currently using the Focusrite Scarlett 18i20. It's a great interface for the price, starting at about $550 US, and it has several inputs and several outputs. This is perfect for someone who might be a beginner or maybe a mid to professional tier level where you might want to only have a couple of inputs to be able to record maybe some uh, vocals and guitar. However, should you wanna record something a little bit more complex like drums, you do have a total of eight inputs to be able to have a more complete sound. I gotta say, I really love this thing and I plan to keep using it until, I don't know, something else comes out better for the price point. 
The next thing I want to talk about are my monitors. I am using the Yamaha HS7s. They have been great monitors so far, and I've been using them for years now. Now, don't get me wrong. I have used other monitors in the past, such as Adams, KRKs, Focals, just to name a few. They have served me well, and they have been great, but something about these monitors I just kind of have this bond with. I've had great success with during my mixes and even also during tracking. Now, I also understand that when it comes to monitors, it's very personalized, kind of similar to finding the right pair of shoe. It has to fit with who you are and your style of music that you're working with. With that being said, I'm kind of interested to know what kind of monitors are your favorite. So do me a favor, in the comments down below, let me know what monitors you love the most. So for the last couple of items, I want to go ahead and share with you guys some outboard gear that I got. You probably noticed just above my interface that I have a couple of 500 series modules, specifically some preamps. I have the Grace Design M501, which is a very transparent preamp, but I also have a review coming out of that soon, so make sure to subscribe to the channel for when that drops. I also have the Kush Audio Omega, which is a very interesting preamp because it actually uses software plugins in order to do emulations of transformers to add different types of colors. If I had to describe it, it's very similar to what the Slate ML1 microphone is doing uh, with the emulation plugin. But again, now we're talking about using a preamp instead. Though we've covered all the renovations and gear that I have in my studio, there is one item that is still awaiting a massive upgrade, and that's going to be my desk. Currently, I have a cheap gaming desk that I bought on Amazon.com, and it has been good, it has been great, but I'm running out of space, and I actually have more gear that I need to be able to fit on my table. The good news is I actually purchased a new desk, and I'm actually waiting for it to show up. This is going to be a huge upgrade from what I have now, and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. If you want to see what it looks like, and also the price, because it is great, do me a favor, again, click the subscribe button, and that way you guys can see it in the next video. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this. Again, it's been great to be able to make videos again. I hope that you guys are enjoying the content. And if you did like this video, consider watching some of my other videos. And with that said, that's it. Have a great day and happy mixing.